This topic has to do with um, generating MP4 files um, because often I share media with uh, different clients for weddings and events, uh, also video with friends and family. So I, I tend to have a mixture of uh, different devices and primarily with desktop computers and laptops it's going to be uh, Windows PCs and uh, Apple Mac computers. Now I typically production I use uh, all Mac computers to do this so it's often hard to share certain formats with a Windows PC so um, that's where MP4 comes along because it can be shared freely between uh, both platforms without much trouble. Now um, Windows PCs tend to uh, favor uh, one particular file format and this is and I always mix this up here which is uh, WMV or Windows Media Video and then um, Macs tend to favor QuickTime or MOVs so uh, obviously you can see some of the compatibility issues yes you can use VLC and some other players to play nearly any format but even that uh, can have some issues so it's usually better to put it in an mp4 f format uh, and then share your files uh, uh, more freely so we're actually going to take a look at uh, generating mp4 files within Final Cut Pro 10 and also Compressor 4 okay here we are in, in Final Cut Pro 10 uh, we already have a, a sample video file we're going to make an mp4 so you're going to go to the share menu and uh, even though you can make this mp4 in uh, several different ways we're actually going to try uh, master file is typically what you're going to use anyway for high quality export and uh, then you're going to go into settings now typically um, you may use video and audio and then usually uh, for export it's going to be h264 um, now this is going to make a quicktime mov file which is what we don't really want so what we're going to do is uh, select for format co to computer and that's going to generate our MPEG-4 file and if you uh, actually go on this check mark as you can see um, it is compatible with PC and Mac is what we want uh, for that now um, it's pretty much set up automatically and I, I believe it makes a um, 20 megabits per second or 20,000 megabits per uh, second uh, data rate I believe off the top of my head now you can select um, your uh, different resolution typically for HD it's going to be 720 1080 um, I believe there is a selection for 4k but it's grayed out because um, this is just a um, 1080p file but you can do uh, one of the uh, uh, three. Um, as far as the video codec, you can select how it encodes. Uh, H.264 faster encode means um, it'll render faster, but uh, the file so uh, the file size is going to be much larger and less quality. Um, then you also have H.264 better quality, which is um, you're going to do a multi pass, which takes about three or four times longer but you're going to get uh, much better quality and much smaller file size and then you go on from there okay here we are um, we put our video file into compressor 4 and there's several reasons you might want to use compressor rather than Final Cut Pro 10 if you're doing a batch of many mp4 files at the same time or you want a lot more control over the output then you would simply uh, send it to compressor like compressor like we uh, did now and you could actually do this uh, several ways as well and we're going to show you one way here um, here we can go to uh, QuickTime uh, export components uh, we can select that and uh, from the drop down menu we'd select mp4 can configure settings then we're going to switch that to mp4 here uh, select our data rate uh, typically around 20,000 um, uh, kilobits per second and then you simply choose your file resolution now typically for 20,000 
or 20 megabits per second we're going to choose uh, 1080p uh, just like so and uh, probably on audio I would go to 320 kilobits per second and there we go and it saves that now um, if you want to uh, do it a little bit more simply we'll also choose new settings uh, this time we're going to go to uh, QuickTime Movie well this one actually is uh, more uh, excuse me this is going to be more in depth if you want to get a lot more control right here as well and then you would simply uh, and let me see if I can find the setting here I got a little bit lost uh, you simply go to your video section and then QuickTime settings change and then uh, I guess it defaults to uh, ProRes and you simply change that to MP4 and uh, also do any other settings you need. So there's two ways uh, that you can generate uh, MP4 files within Compressor. And uh, that's an overview of creating uh, MP4 files with Final Cut Pro 10 and Compressor 4.